Hi, welcome to the Explore Atlassian Confluent Journey course. Today is day 10. I will guide how to import a Confluent space. Yeah, so in the previous lesson, you know how to import the content in your Confluent space into some format like HTML, XML, and the PDF. And for the content, if you import it into the HTML format, so you can re-import it again into the Confluent in the future. That's why in this video today, lesson, I will guide you how to import the content from the HTML file into the new working space. Okay, let's get started. Let me open browser, and then I will access into my Confluent account. And in the previous lesson, I already guide you how to import this web development project with GNVS into the HTML file. So before I import it again into my Confluence account, I will try to delete this working space. Click to the space setting. We have an option in delete, delete space. You click on delete. This file, delete. Okay, and for now, so our working space has been deleted. You come back to the home page, and you cannot see the develop website development with GNVS anymore. Yeah. So now, I will guide you how to import. Again, because in the previous lesson, we already import all of the content into a zip file here. Let me check this one and we can see what do we have in the zip file. We have the import black, black register and tie load HTML. All of the content in this way will be imported into the, this HTML file. And then when we import it again into the confluent page, so it will follow all the structure of the HTML file and then create corresponding pieces and attachment as well. Yeah. Okay. So come back to the Confluent. In order to perform the import in the Confluent page, so you have to access into Confluent page with the administrator permission. Otherwise, you cannot perform this action. Okay, I'm assuming you already access into the Confluent page by using the administrator account. So, on the top hand side, you click on the setting icon. It will open the setting page. And on the left hand side, you can see we have a menu. You scroll it down. And in the administration section, you can see we have the import space. Click on it. It will open up the import a confluence space. So take a look into the import the space import. Select the import file. Only space import can be import. Yeah. You select, you click on select file and then go to the zip file for Confluence Export. Yeah. We have a link to Cloud Project. You can let it by default in none. File upload successfully, and then you click on the Import to perform the action. Yeah. Click on Next button. Yeah, you can skip this one or click on start button. Repair. If we have any issue with the space, so it will be repaired for you. On done. And for now, go to the confluent. And click on the space. View on spaces. Scroll it down. You see the website development project with GNVS has been back. Yeah. 
and all of the content of this will be displayed happy back. We can see here that we take yeah it's fine okay so i think that's all for today after you finish this lesson you know how to import the content from the xml file into the confluent page yeah basically in order to perform the import action you have to use the account with the administrator permission otherwise you cannot perform it okay all right so I think that's all. Let me know if you have any question. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.